Hi, I'm Steve, and I'm the Long Ash Cowboy, and I'm currently enjoying a Dutch Masters Honey Sport, the same one from yesterday. Yes, it's true. Today, I want to talk to you about the Gold Strike Toro. Now, these are made in Esteli, Nicaragua. The first time I ever saw Gold Strikes was in a general store in rural Alabama. And I saw three of them. They were not Toros, they were Churchills. And I asked the lady behind the counter, I said, may I see those three cigars? Now, when you're in a country store and you say cigar, they think of those silly little rolled up cigarillos that are machine made and not true cigars, those flavored garbage things, and I don't mean like this, I mean the cigarillos and you know what they're for. But I said, turn around, look over your shoulder, put your hand, now go up, now go over, now stop, right, yes, those, let me see those. So she handed me a pack that looked like this, as you can tell right across the top right here, it is a tab that you pull off. And then it is Ziploc right here, and they were Churchills. So I turned it over on the back and started reading, and it said Esteli, Nicaragua, and that's all I needed to know. I said, how much are these? She said, they're 702 taxed. I said, I'll take them. She said, do you come through this area a lot? And I said, yes, I do. She said, well, as you can see from the packing back there you got the first one and locals want to know about these but nobody was brave enough to be the first package purchaser will you please stop in and tell me about them i said yes i came back the next day and i said a gold strike churchill has a candela wrapper these do not but the churchills that i saw had candela wrappers it had a natural sweetness and an earthiness to it. And she said, great. I said, yes, if I was in Birmingham, Alabama, I would expect to pay $10 for a pack of three of these. I love these things. If you are a new smoker, and again, this is not a compensated endorsement. These are the, this is the opinion of one man, non-compensated. If you can find gold strikes either in a gas station, in a shop, or online, you will love them. Now, let me tell you something more about these Toros. I had to look for gold strikes online. When I found this packet, believe it or not, three full-size Toros, I found them for $1.99. So when you do the math, it's shipping and everything else, you can get a full-size Toro, and they are enjoyable for under 75 cents a piece. You can't go wrong if you're new, looking to get into the lifestyle, the hobby. Trust me, they're worth it. Buy 5 or $10 worth, you'll have a stack this big. So now, it's week one college football. That Florida Miami joke is over. Because I was in Wyoming, I didn't get to a hotel until five minutes left in the game. I got in. I see Miami's down by four. I start seeing turnovers here, there, here, there. I think Miami's got a shot and they just blew it. So let's look ahead to this Saturday. Alabama, Duke. The only question is, will they beat the spread? Auburn, Oregon. Oregon is the higher ranked team, but Auburn has got the, uh, has got the point spread. Why that is, I don't know. Who's going to win? Who knows? Since I live in the South, obviously I keep up with the Southeastern Conference the most. Do I think Auburn has the chance to win? Yeah. Do I think they have a chance to blow it? Absolutely.
because I was in Wyoming. I'll give a shout out to the Wyoming Missouri game. I don't know what Wyoming has, but Missouri has been quiet for a long, long time. They could be a sleeper in the East. What do I think of Florida in the East? Not much. What do I think of Tennessee with Pruitt? They've been down. They're due to come back. Georgia has a heavy, heavy hitter schedule this year. I don't think they're a lock for the East. And finally, I will say this about teams in the Southeastern Conference Eastern Division. I think you're going to have to watch Kentucky. Kentucky's a basketball school. But they did themselves proud last year. And I think they could be a surprise this year. Really quickly, do we need to go to the eight-team playoff? Yes. Five Power Five winners and three at-large berths. Would Central Florida have done well last year? Who knows? But anybody can lose on any given day. Thanks for tuning in. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And until Sunday night, Long Ash Cowboy thanking you for tuning in. And until next time, sticks up.